a survey technician came and found me and she said, I think I found something. It looked like this little tiny anomaly in the map. So it was sort of like this smooth, 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 and then all of a sudden there was a little bump. I'm Maddie Rodrigue, the science program lead for OceanX. So we were asked to conduct an ecosystem survey of the Neom region of the Northern Red Sea and the Gulf of Aqaba to explore and characterize a completely unexplored area. So the lead up to the Red Sea was actually kind of crazy because it was our first ever scientific expedition on board Ocean Explorer. I think the mood on board was excited and a little bit nervous because everything that we were going to be doing in this region was going to be brand new to science. Hey, Colleen. Hello. What are you doing? We are mapping, finally. Every night, our survey technician was doing what we call mowing the lawn. So she would create a line plan, and the ship would follow that track to create a 3D image of what that seafloor was. So we are just really getting everything sort of dialed in and uh, running all of the sonars at the same time collect some data so that the science folks can pick out an interesting dive site for tomorrow. So it was about week two in the expedition. We woke up in the morning and the survey technician um, came and found me and she said, here we are, we're in the northern part of the Gulf of Aqaba and I think I found something. And it looked like this little tiny bump. But that bump was about 100 meters long <laughs> and about 20, 30 meters tall. And she said, I think this might be a shipwreck. So then, of course, we all go into a frenzy. The entire plan of the day completely changed, and we decided, okay, we're going to go down and see if this is a wreck or if it's just a rock. So we decided to, to send the ROV down, and there, at around 850 meters, a massive shipwreck. I will never forget what happened next for as long as I live. All of a sudden, as we're looking at the bow of the shipwreck, this massive creature comes into view, takes a look at the ROV and curls its entire body around the bow of the wreck. <laughs> well, I was frozen <laughs> in absolute shock, and our ROV team was frozen in absolute shock, and our sub team was frozen in absolute shock. And before we all started yelling, our data system luckily captured a frame grab of the exact moment that that animal moved past us, and the videos were rolling and recording the entire time. The fins, fins right up on the top. Yeah, most most squid have them coming much further down. Yeah. And we don't know what species it was. There are several species of squid that are larger than human beings. Uh, we're still trying to determine what that is. We're consulting with experts. We're trying to understand how we could confirm the identity of this species. That is... And we weren't looking for it. We were looking for a wreck. Hi, Mike. How are you? I am just fine. <laughs> I, um, I have to tell you, and, and I, I know I briefly mentioned this already, but I am so excited to share this footage with you because um, I think you will be the first person outside of myself and the people who are physically with me on the ship at the time that saw this, um, this strange occurrence. I'm very grateful that you're taking the time to help us figure out what, what we saw. My pleasure. Okay, so this is the organism I was referring to. I, I can tell you what I think it is and, and why I think it is. Yes, I would love that. I would love to hear. I think it's a species called the, the purple back flying squid. Purple-backed flying squid. And in the, the area that you're operating uh, in the Red Sea, there's a well-known population of those that get really big. But I, I think what you're seeing is what's called the giant form of Stenotuthis. They will approach a bait the way that that one approached that bait, and they often swim the way that the other videos showed the animal swimming. And in particular, the, the fin size, the proportions of the fin relative to the body, 
show me that it's not a giant squid. If you stop it right there, uh, you see it's, it's got fins that are short and broad and sort of uh, taken together. They look sort of like an arrowhead. I know you probably wanted to, to think that you had uh, some video of giant squids, but <laughs> I can tell you that I'm absolutely certain it's not an Archituthus. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Squids. Do they uh, have ink sacs like other species of squid? Yes, they do. I noticed in one of your videos you have a uh, video of ink. Yeah, uh, here we go, right here. Sort of so this actually... Spread out in the water. That actually happened to us a couple of times. We would be on, like, a, just doing a habitat transect or something with the, the ROV, and we would sort of get body slammed, and then all of this ink would just be injected into the water. If you got a big squid like that and it bumps into the ROV, it will actually shake the ROV. Yeah. And the squid will go, whoa, and it squirt out some ink because it's upset because it ran into something. It would also be interesting to know if it's typical for this species to um, use this type of habitat. You know, every time that we went back with our subsea vehicles, the ROV and the subs, as if right on cue, as soon as we got down to depth and visualized the wreck, it was there. I was wondering that myself, that, uh, that you were seeing it around the wreck so consistently. Um, there's no actual record of members of that family aggregating on a structure like that. So if, if that's actually happening, that would be really interesting. I agree. Yeah, I also it was kind of like a intentional made for TV moment, it felt like almost because you get this massive creature with the shipwreck in the background. But it, yeah, it was it was consistent. I think we went a total of three times and each time, um, if not the same individual an individual was spotted. You know, anytime you see weird deep sea squids or octopods, uh, you know where I am. Awesome, thank you so much, Mike. That was incredible. I can't believe that, one, we encountered such an enormous creature, and two, that it took us so long to actually figure out what it actually was. And we first saw it, we all thought, because it was so massive, that it had to be some kind of giant squid, if not the giant squid. But that's why you take your time and you speak to experts and you understand from real cephalopod experts that have studied these animals for years and years and years about the characteristics of the animals that make them who they are, what they are. So learning that from Mike was phenomenal. Just a huge, massive discovery for us as a program, encountering an animal like that in an unexplored region on a shipwreck, no less.